Okay, I want to use this problem to clear up something I did in a previous video where I talked about, if you recall, I said k cat is equal to v max over km. Okay, and I said that that was a way of determining, okay, a way of comparing the efficiencies or a way of determining the efficiency of an enzyme. So that's what I was basically saying. This is like the turnover, the, this is the turnover number. Vmax over Km is a way of determining the, um, is a way of determining how efficient the enzyme is operating, how many substrates it's converting to product, okay, per unit time. Now this problem is going to exhibit the conditions necessary to make this, this particular assumption instead of the normal where we would be saying okay Vmax over enzyme concentration total okay so I'm going to show you how you can use this approximation to solve a problem and under what conditions it might be able to be used in this manner so consider the following reaction information about substrate S a reaction is carried out with 100 micromoles of S in a mixture containing equivalent amounts of enzyme A and B. So we have equal amounts of enzyme A and B. All right. After one minute, which reactant, which reactant product will be more abundant, P or Q? Explain your answer. Okay, well let's just do some intuitive stuff here and look at this data that they're giving us here. Okay, this is substrate to P, okay, S to P, catalyzed by enzyme A has a Km of 50 millimoles and a Vmax of 100 nanometers per second. Okay. Now S to Q, catalyzed by enzyme B, has a Km of 5 millimoles and a Vmax of 120 nanometers per second. Okay. So what does that mean? What does that tell us? Well, if you recall, the Km is one half Vmax. Okay. So that's how fast it gets to one half Vmax, or or a measure, okay, of one half Vmax. Now, if I have a lower Km, that means that I'm approaching Vmax much faster. So that means I'm operating, I'm already thinking this is operating more efficiently because of that. And then I go over here and I see the Vmax, I'm like, the Vmax is higher. Okay, so the Vmax is higher, that means this is probably operating more efficiently, okay? than enzyme A. So I'm already thinking enzyme B is going to be the correct answer here. You know, that we're going to wind up with more Q than P, because that's what it's ultimately asking, which is which product will be more abundant. So I'm already thinking this intuitively before I write anything, before I try to calculate anything, etc. Okay. So I'm actually just going to basically write exactly that. Okay, product Q so enzyme B needs less substrate, needs less substrate to reach one half V max. Okay, needs less substrate to v reach one half V max and operate efficiently. So it needs less substrate to reach one half max and operate efficiently. And that can be seen from the KM. Okay, that's where I got that information from the KM, which is smaller. So smaller Km means it's operating more efficiently. So it has a high substrate affinity. Okay, so it has high substrate affinity. And the other thing to notice is enzyme B has a slightly higher Vmax. And this is all things you can just really get right from the graph up here. I mean, nothing right from the data table, rather. 
nothing really fancy. You just got to understand what the VMAX and the KM is telling you. Okay, so it has a slightly higher VMAX, suggesting it operates faster. Okay, so the VMAX, that's just suggesting that it operates faster. And if we really wanted to see this, and we wanted to confirm this with maybe some math, I know a, da a dangerous word most people don't like to hear, but if we wanted to see this with some math, we could actually say to see this, we could compare, okay, we could compare kcat over km. Okay, so we don't have the enzyme total, right? We don't have the enzyme total. Actually, this is this is wrong. We can in compare Vmax over KM. Okay, we can compare Vmax over KM, right? And we don't have E total, so we don't have the total concentration of enzyme, right? But it doesn't matter in this case, okay? So it doesn't matter. And I, I want to just say this without writing it, and I, I want to just tell you why it doesn't matter in this case. Okay, if we want to use this right here, if we want to use Vmax, okay, over Km, we can do so in this case, and this is why. Even though we don't have the enzyme total, concentration of enzyme, we can still use it because what the problem told us up here is that the amount of A and B, okay, the amounts of enzyme A and B are equal, okay? And with that said, we can ignore the enzyme total because both concentrations are the same, because there's equal concentration of A and equal concentration of B, we can just directly compare them using Vmax over Km, okay, using this right here. And if you wanted to do that, on paper, I would just say something like EFF, okay, of A, to stand for efficiency of A, and I would look up here and I would say, okay, what was my efficiency of A? That's 100 nanometers per second, so if you recall, what is that? That's 100 okay times 10 to the negative ninth moles per second and that's going to be over fifth well I should show you guys first instead of just writing it in okay and for a we see the km is 50 millimoles so it's 50 times 10 to the negative 3 moles and we could just say equals okay we can just say equals right there so the efficiency of A is equal to the Vmax over the Km, and I got my calculator here, so I'm bringing it on screen, and see what happens, okay? So 100 EE negative 9, we'll divide that by 50, and what we end up with is 2 times 10 to the negative 6, so we get 2... 0 0.0 times 10 to the negative 6. Now you might be wondering what units those are, okay? But if I were to do this, if I were to get these units, it would be m over s multiplied by 1 over m. So units of concentration can cancel out, and what I'm left with here is 1 over s, okay? or inverse seconds or whatever you want to call it. I would just write it as this. S to the negative one. Okay? So that's what it is and that's for the efficiency for A. Now if I have enough space over here I'll do the efficiency for B which is the one we really care about because B is the answer. So efficiency for B is equal to 120 times 10 to the negative 9 and I got that right from up here 120 nanometers per second. Okay? 
and I'm going to simply divide that by 5 times 10 to the negative 3, okay, moles for the km, okay, and I'm going to get the answer for B, and again, I'll throw my calculator up here, okay, right here, clear this one out, do 120, divide that by 5, and I get 2.4 times 10 to the negative fifth, okay? So 2.4 times 10 to the negative fifth seconds, okay? Right? Now, all I want to say is this, okay? 2.0 times 10 to the negative sixth, 2.4 times 10 to the negative fifth, all right? 2.4 times 10 to the negative fifth is a larger number, a larger number is telling me that enzyme B is more efficient. And that's how you would put a little mathematical uh, rigor behind it. Okay?